Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Monday, June 3rd at midnight, 2019. There's a lot to talk about. Record flooding. We've got record snowpack. All predicted. I'm adjusting the situation here. It's a lot of work. Take a look at the Pacific Northwest. The West is the best. Bringing you in live. Lining you in. Looking like uh, 20 inches in some regions. 20 plus up in Alberta and BC. Heavy snows in Montana and Idaho continue through mid-June as well as Wyoming. And we're going to pick up a little tippy touch down here in my region. But that's no matter. And we'll get back to that. We want you all to keep calm because it is boom time. And that's yours and my time. I just don't know how to sit properly here. And my computer's crooked. New CMIP data suggests an extended period of solar decline extending through 2100. In case you don't know, solar physicists, solar scientists, plasma physicists, climatologists, paleoclimatologists, geologists, and other people working in the field are suggesting that there is a period of solar decline extending through 2100. And if we use historical documentation and other data without anthropogenic global warming actually being real that means we're all totally cosmic ray fluxed cosmic rays are increasing and that means snowpack is increasing as predicted two years ago we started this channel and we predicted that california snowpack would increase to record proportions which they have california snowpack at 202 percent of average for this time of year and i'm no queer i don't even drink near beer <laughs> the amount of snow blackening the Sierra Nevada is even larger than the 2017 snowpack that pulled the state out of the five-year drought that the governor said was never-ending and global warming alarmists said would never end. It was going to be a perpetual drought forever as you burned up and died. But they lied to you. That's true. <laughs> and I'm going to say it until I turn blue. As of Thursday, the snowpack measured 202% of the average after a barrage of storms throughout the winter and spring, according to the Department of Water Resources. And you know what the embarrassing fact is? That is just the smallest area in the region, the region of the season to be depletion during the minimum. Yeah, it's not even the biggest uh, snowpack that we have. But you should pack it up now because epic snowpack could lead to flooding and that could lead to epic rafting. Are you listening to me, Alan? Holy statewide, 437%. Gunnison, that's boom time. Down at Arkansas, 438%. That means what we reported on the last update, they don't know what will happen when this melts. How about where I'm at? 768% of average. We, what the... It's going to happen when that melts. Holy macaroni. And that's tonight's first boom. When it melts, it will come. And it will come hard. And it's going to come down the mountain. She'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming. Boom! San Juan River at Pagosa Springs. Up and up and up. And is currently coming up. Let's refresh this so you can get the live data point. Let's watch the... Whoa! Holy, now at 2,700 feet per second. I get in the river when it's at 3,500. That means a few days if we project this off. 
Wednesday, I'm going to be in there. <whistles> Chocolate milk much? This is just the beginning of record flooding in on the western slope. My prayers go out to the people that are living on these creeks and rivers because they're coming up. They're coming up right now. It's been above freezing now for two straight days in the 40s. And this is how catastrophic flooding could change the course of the Mississippi River, and it will. One of my predictions as a geology teacher at Temple University was that New Orleans would be underwater. And many of my students contacted me after that fateful day. And another prediction is that the Mississippi will change course. And flooding rushing toward the Mississippi River has forced the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to make a decision to open the rarely used Morganza spillway on Thursday, June 6th. That's this week, on Thursday, to divert part of the river's flow into the Atchafalaya Basin. Atchafalaya Basin. 24,000 uh, acres are expected to flood as the water is funneled from the Mississippi and into the Atchafalaya River. Residents and landowners in the path of the expected floods were alerted about the possibility and now they're fluxed. The old river control structure known as America's Achilles heel to some is a floodgate system which regulates the flow of water leaving the Mississippi River into the Atafalacha River in Vidalia, Louisiana. <coughs> Not to be confused with Vidalia, Georgia, where the onions come from. Now the old river control structure lies in a rural stretch of the Mississippi River in Louisiana, a few miles east of the tiny town of Simmonsport. The system is designed to prevent the Mississippi River from permanently altering the course down the Atchafalacha River by bypassing the Baton Rouge and the New Orleans. But current flooding could put a strain on the system and in worst case scenario make it fail, causing the Mississippi to change course down the Atchafalacha River forever. And that would mean <whistles> lots of mosquitoes in New Orleans. And a death to jazz. Probably not. But I digress because times are changing. Times are changing. Downtown Burlington floods as another barrier fails in eastern Iowa. Holy sh Another flood wall has failed in Iowa, inundating the county seat in the eastern part of the state. Des Moines County Sheriff's Office confirmed that downtown Hesco flood prevention barrier failed Saturday afternoon. Water seeped into Front Street and city officials were working to dry the area. <coughs> Holy macaroni. Dry it up. Do a dab. Maybe we need some shungite water. I hope you got yours at LeeCon 2019. Did you know that live stream's available? The link is always below. $25 of the best information you can get on the net. Do it now. Do it down. More rain during early June could push river levels higher, expanding flood in the central U.S. As water levels reach seldom seen along the Mississippi and Missouri rivers and reach new heights along portions of the Arkansas and Illinois, the risk of more levee failures and flooding will continue in the coming days and weeks, as we predicted, into mid-June, even July. Much of the middle and lower Mississippi River Valley is several weeks, needs several weeks of dry weather. However, it's not going to happen. We're going to show you some of these models, <coughs> which, by the way, are not schmodels, as well as this blue shirt, which I've had for years, and it's fleece lined. So it's amazing. It feels like I'm in, it feels like I'm a superhero. <whistles> and that rain is going to push those river, river levels higher. How high can we fly? Why can't I line this up? It's like all reverse. It's so confusing. More flash flooding possible this week in the plains and Midwest. This major river flooding continues. Look at how green that map is with portions of yellow through St. Louis, Louisville, Memphis. You're fluxed. Five inches total plus. Showers and thunderstorms are expected this week in parts of the plains and Midwest. Flash flooding is possible in parts of those regions this week. Many rivers remain in flood stage. And to the south, the Mississippi's bulging, and this is all going to move south to meet those bulges. Like I told you, you, record flooding has occurred along portions of the Arkansas and Missouri rivers, which will continue. Flooding along the Mississippi River may last through the summer. What a bummer. Yeah. 
People are going to get flesh-eating bacteria. Sharks will swim upstream and eat people like Jaws. And I did my first pop, which is a boom, in your world. Heads up. Five plus inches coming to your town. Cosmic grace to blame. Did you see that? I stuck my tongue out. Just for you guys. <laughs> Holy sh June starts with hail. Holy hail, Steve Bowens saying it's hailing. Denver CBS. First day of June, we get right into some hail producing thunderstorms. Up to three inches in some areas with ping pong ball size hail and heavy rains. <clears throat> in some parts of Aurora, one inch diameter hail piled up two inches and blippity, blippity bloppity blue. And the, uh, I had another from the Denver Post, three inches of hail, but they blocked me because they wanted my good money to, walk, to read the, an article. Hey, Denver Post, blow me. You're never going to get a penny. That's a schmenny. But this is looking bleak. Look at Nebraska and Kansas. Kiss my Kansas. Our Kansas. Boom! Mississippi. And that's all going down to Louisiana. Plus in the upper Midwest, we also have the Quad Cities, Davenport, Iowa, Southern Iowa, and other areas picking up up to five inches of rain. It's insane. In other areas here at the Ohio River and south and Western PA and Northern West Virginia, as well as Eastern Iowa, Ohio. What am I saying? I need a dab. About to go dab. Let's do it. Let's do it now. What do I have over here? Holy shit. If you could see this, this isn't crazy. Look at what I have over. This is the apparatus there. That's totally illegal. You can't even show that on TV, and I just did. Ha! Look at that. That's 16... In inches of rain in Nebraska. That's a model, but still, that's it's crazy. And that's in northwestern Kansas as well. Do you live there? Severe thunderstorms and heavy rain threats continue this week across parts of the central and southern U.S. Severe thunderstorms are again possible across portions of the central and southern high plains Monday into Monday night. The main threats for the storms will be damaging wind gusts, tornadoes, large hail potentially for flash flooding, additional rainfall from north Texas to southeast Kansas, and our Kansas can kiss my asses. Through this week, ha blah, 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 hashtag hasten, blah, 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 blah. flooding, dead, Whew. ruined, man. <clears throat> UN official admits global warming agenda is really about destroying capitalism. And he's a cross-dresser. This is the first time in history of mankind that we are setting ourselves to the task of intentionally, within a defined period of time, to change the economic development model that has been reigning for 150 years. By the Illuminati. And now they want you to save your arse by taxing your ass and saving their ass, which is like a reverse double entendre. I just made that up. I was invited to a major political dinner in Washington. No, I wasn't. I'm reading that with the former chairman of Temple University. Well, maybe I was there. Since I advised the university with respect to its portfolio, we were seated at one of those round tables with 10 people. And it felt like I was Jesus or maybe King Arthur. They assumed they were in friendly company and began speaking freely. Dick Fox, who can suck my... Dick Fox, my friend, began to lead them on to get the truth behind the movement. And it wasn't a bowel movement. Lo and behold, they too admitted it was not about the environment, but to reduce population growth. Global warming is to euthanize your ass. Dick then asked them... If he was a dick. And we responded <coughs> with a resounding boom. I don't even want to go there. That's just like, who needs that news? Are you growing food? We're going to get there. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Blot echoes kicking off. <whistles> Good times in Chile. Holy hilly, Billy. I don't live there, but I would never. We have a cacophony of quakes piling up here in Tonga, starting with 5.9 to 10 kilometers in depth. We have some bad news at 266 kilometers in New Zealand. Blot Echo could be a 5.4 at the surface anytime soon. We have frack quakes and aftershocks and aftershocks of quakes that are frack related. 
Totally disgusting. West Coast about to bust it. Nuevo. How new are you at the 3.4? You Al Gore's a bore. <whistles> Worldwide Volcano News Update. Sangay. Volcanic ash emiss emissions reserved to 19,000 feet. Yeah, that's my feet. Ibico eruption today reported. <coughs> Ducono continuous volcanic ash. 8,000. Reventador ongoing. Sabancaya puffs. <sighs> To 27,000 volcanic popo in Krakatoa was witnessed. Ibu. Holy schmittnest. Come check it out, man. Links are below. They're... Where are they? They're below. They're down here. Holy shit, I can't even do that. Solar ham. No solar flares. LS M1. There it is. October 20th, 2017. Last X Flare, September 10th, 2017. John Casey had a stroke. Space weather related. Are you listening? Hello? McFly? Do I have to rip my face off? I think I might have to. I already am. Get the knowledge. Get the facts. NASA solar storm warning. Another Carrington event will cause trillions in damage. People will eat their neighbors. And most of you will die. Holy shit. That's bad news, man. Lauren Solomon. Finally, it's safe for the whistleblowers of corrupted climate scientists to speak out. Well, finally. I, I've been doing a pretty good job for like 700 days, the greatest scientific fraud of the century will be laid bare along with its corrupt enablers in government, academia, industry, and the media. Well, if this is breaking news, you must have just found my channel, pricks. You can rip your own face off. Yeah, I said it. Come get me. Come and get it. I know. I'm losing my credibility. Did I ever have any? Whistleblowers at the U.S. government's off official keepers of the global warming stats. <laughs> Who the fuck? The national, the NOAAs claim their agency doctored temperature data to hide the fact that global temperatures plateaued 20 years ago. Hmm. Wow, I never heard of that. Wow. That's amazing. Did that really happen? Did they really fix the numbers? I need a cigarette. You want to know something? Grow something. Throughout the U.S., major food brands are trying to get rid of GMO ingredients. Diamond's been trying to get rid of GMOs for a decade. Now, the manufacturers of the controversial veggie burger, the Impossible Burger, has just admitted that it, almost half of the thing is GMO soy and also some GMO... Anyway. Ew. I stopped eating... Ew. Excuse me. Oh. The radiation showstopper for Mars exploration... Now, about a year ago, I told all of you that no one's going to Mars. And then at this suspicious observers conference, Dr. August Dunning from NASA, who's an astronaut, also said no one's going to Mars. And now, the radiation showstopper for Mars exploration, another paper coming out showing that no one's going to Mars, man. So stop lying to children that they're going to Mars. Cosmic radiation could increase cancer risk during long duration missions. Damage to the human body extends to the brain, heart, and the central nervous system and sets the stage for degenerative diseases when you go to Mars. Now the risks of going to Mars, just going to the space station for... Are you kidding me? Why is it 
Why is the resolution, why is it so shitty? God, why can't they cooperate? What's happening here? Do I have to push a button? Man, this is like never happening. Wow, what happened there? Oh my God, it's gone. Let's reopen it. Stick with us. 20 minutes, 33 seconds in. And you're about to learn about the Subaru telescope capturing 1,800 exploding stars. Yes, Micronova much? Yes. Our star's about to go boom, boom. By combining one of the world's most powerful dip digital cameras and a telescope capable of capturing a wider shot of the night sky compared to other big telescopes, a team of researchers from Japan have been able to identify 1,800 new supernova, including 58 Type 1a, 8 billion light years away, reported a new study released the 30th of May. <whistles> Holy sh And that was just like one little area of the sky. <laughs> yeah. Yep. One area. Here are the space risks. Traveling to the moon and Mars. Seven hundred times the cosmic rays. Areas of risk of the body, every can wear. International Space Station, 250 times. And then while the magnetosphere wanes and while you're in space, while the sun shuts down, it's gonna get angry and tangry. It's gonna be boom time. Yeah. And when that X-45 comes shooting towards you as you're traveling to Mars and your hair falls out and your teeth get loose. Yeah. The memorial will call it the Mars Spruce Goose. Deuces. crazy 1800 exploding stars in just these five circles can you imagine if you went to the other billion circles in the universe how many stars are exploding can you imagine mm. are you growing food man i mean new evidence links ultra processed foods with a range of health health risks <laughs> yeah can you imagine taco bell makes you shit yourself actually 20 minutes after you eat it I, I don't have to imagine it. It actually occurs. New evidence links ultra-processed foods with a range of health risks. Are you kidding me? Do we, do we have to get a study on this? The things you're being fed, the food you eat, it's food for sheep. And you need to be told by governments that they're garbage. You know who knows better? Matt Powers, the permaculture student. We're about to do a series of interviews or discussions about permaculture and saving the planet. And if you want to save your own planet, check out the permaculturestudent.com where Matt Powers will give you hours of powers on how to take back your life and take back the planet. One seed at a time. James Crouch, you want to know about bees? He's the bee's knees. James Crouch, 66 subscribers. He's sent from Satan. Let's help get him to 777, please. He moved his bees to a new hive, apparently. And if you watch, you may rip your face off. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance in the future that you're living. Have I showed you that new CMIP data suggests an extended period of solar decline through 2100? Which means... <coughs> If cycle 25 is predicted to be less than 24 and our predictions continue to come true, what happens in the next year will be magnified tenfold. In the next decade is the end of the empire. Couple that with the magnetic reversal, which I'm not even showing you that data, and you might as well rip your face off. Or learn how to grow food. Learn how to be self-reliant. Learn how to opt out of the situation that you've been given. You see, the universe that you live in is the one that you create. 
whatever you believe, whatever you do, when you wake up, it's your choice. You can choose to opt out. You can still shop at the Mini Mart. But if the Mini Mart closes, you'll have options. Dozens of options. Do you know how to wildcraft? Do you know how to hunt? Do you know how to fish? Do you know how to grow food? Do you know it's spring in the Northern Hemisphere? You're losing time. Share this with like-minded people. We love each and every one of you. Thank you for our supporters on Patreon. Thank you for your, our one-time donors. Thank you for Top Knot for coming out here and putting his money where his mouth is. Oh my God. The guy is the best worker I've ever had on the ranch. Lead by example. Nothing gets done unless you do it. Do it now. Do a dab. Be safe. We love you. Like, share, subscribe, comment. And if you hate us, we love you. Boom.